Ben, do you want to call? Judd Trump against Ben Bulliston is the first match here on table two this evening in group six of the Championship League. Trump has played two, won one, lost one, and Wollaston has played two and lost them both. So Ben Wollaston under a bit of early pressure maybe here. He's only actually won one frame so far today. <coughs> Trump started the day losing 3-0 to Lee Hang, but turned it round by winning his uh, second match, 3-0 against Ricky Walden. Wollaston was beaten 3-1 by Walden and was beaten 3-0 by Martin Gould. Trump plays two matches tonight on this table. He uh, stays on to play Graham Dot in the last match of the night. Lee Hang top of the table at the moment, three wins out of three. Dot has two points. Gould, Trump and Walden all have one. Michael White and Wollaston here yet to get off the mark. White actually playing Martin Gould on table one. Well, nothing wrong with that uh, initial long red from Ben Williston. And the cue ball is held up for bulk colours. He lost 3-1 in the semi-finals last night at Group 5 to Mark Williams, the eventual group winner. Well, he's missed the... Very big target, you've got to say. He's trying to get into the reds. He'd be disappointed because huge target. Three. I've lost three. Yeah. Rob Spencer, the referee, putting the cue ball back. Slight adjustment made. These two know each other well because they're a similar age. Wollaston 30, Trump 28, so they played a lot on the junior circuit years ago. Particularly from uh, in Leicester where Wollaston hails from at Willie Thorne Snooker Centre there. A lot of junior competitions were held there featuring many players who went on to become stars of the game, Mark Selby, Sean Murphy, Ricky Walden, Ryan Day, the list goes on and on.
Well, Judd Trump not shy about taking them on, and he's uh, struck that so sweetly, that red. So Judd Trump in. World number three. Had that disappointment last weekend at the Masters. It was 5-2 up to Karen Wilson, lost 6-5. But Eight. just straight on with the next event. He was here on Tuesday, lost semi-finals to Ricky Walden in Group 5 last night. No. He's a sort of player who I think just gets on with things. <coughs> I sense he doesn't brood that much about defeats. 16. Pink ball, okay. Twenty three. Talking of the junior days with Trump and Wollaston and many others, so sort of 15 years 29. ago or so, he was always earmarked as a great talent. He was winning tournaments when he was eight, nine, ten years of age. 30. In fact, at 10, Judd Trump won the English National Under-15 title. He won the Pontin Spring Pro-Am at the age of 13. <coughs> and uh, that was a lovely shot to open the Reds up, so a great chance here in frame one for Trump to win his first 100 quid of the evening. Thirty-eight. It's a tournament that he does very well in traditionally. He's won it three times. And remember, the winner of this event gets into the Champion of Champions in November. That's also here in Coventry next season. Forty-five. Well, having got in, he's making short work of this frame. He's already got the half century up, 54. And just a couple of balls away now. Red colour red, really, from making it 1-0 in his favour. So Wollaston requires a snooker. We haven't been going 10 minutes yet and this frame's already over. This is what Trump can do though, not only win frames but win them really quickly with big breaks. 76. Just underlining his talent. We've had three centuries today, Lee Hang's had two of them. Graham Dot's had the highest so far, 136. We had 20 centuries in Group 5, it was a really high standard. 
84. Ninety. Ninety-one. Made his five hundredth career century during Group Four. Only the sixth player to do that. Mark Selby had actually done it the previous week. Looks like another one for the collection coming up here. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. So, an electrifying start from Judd Trump, who's won this frame in no time at all with a century break. Just made it look so, so easy. Wollaston had the first chance, but Trump made this chance pay. And he's made an excellent clearance. 125 in the first A 125 from Judd Trump to emphatically win the opening frame of this match. Table one, first up tonight, we've got Michael White and Martin Gould. Gould, as you can see, looking to secure it here on the colours. He's uh, nine points in front, so he's down to the blue. Gould third in the table at the moment. White, like Wollaston, has lost his first two matches. So Gould looking uh, like he's going to take that opener. And then he plays uh, Ricky Walden in the last match on table one this evening. So Gould indeed wrapping that one up. The second frame. Ben Wollaston, ben Wollaston to, break. to break in frame two. Sat out that one two five from Judd Trump. Well, he's in that mood to take them on. He took that one on, didn't pot it.
one. Now there's not much margin for error for this black. There's not a lot of room through the gap. He's on it. He's having a good a good look. It's obviously pretty tight, and it doesn't look like he can see it. So it's going to have to be safety. As I say, there wasn't much margin for error. He had to get the cue ball in a pretty small area to be able to see that black to pot it. And more somewhat. Trump has learnt the safety game since he's been a pro and he plays it really well now. It's not all about long potting and breaks, he can play the tactical stuff and that makes him clearly very dangerous. In no great accident he's number three in the world rankings. Wollaston already on the back foot coming into the match by virtue of the fact he's bottom of the table, played two, lost two, so he's looking for something out of the evening but he's already lost the first frame to Trump's 1-2-5. Now he finds the cue ball on the back cushion, reds spread, it's a dangerous position for him and Trump's tactic has worked, he's forced the error can he now capitalise? No, he can't, is the rather, rather surprising answer. Foul. So I'm sure Wollaston would have feared the worst there when he left that red on for Trump, but suddenly he's knocked in a good long one of his own. As he looks to stop getting involved in this group, he's only won one frame so far in the 
two previous matches he's played. So rooted to the bottom of the table, but that table can change. It does change after every match. He's still got another three to play after this tomorrow. So if he could get something out of this match, then that means he comes back tomorrow feeling a lot more confident. And he could speak to his fellow Leicester man, Tom Ford, about that, because in a previous group, he uh, started really badly first day. But second day, made the playoffs, turned it all round. Eight. Well, was looking for the cannon there to stay on the pink and went through the gap between the two reds. Disappointing after such a good initial red. Yeah, just looking to cannon that red, stay on the pink, but went through the gap between the two reds and it's end of break. Well, I was very lucky to finish there. He didn't hit it right, but he's got the snooker on all but one red. Well, the perennial oh, snooker ball. question, where's the cue ball going? Well, in that case, going in. Just kept running and running towards that corner pocket. <coughs> Left Wollaston a chance at this red to the corner, but it's not an easy pot by any means. Nicely done, though, from Ben Wollaston. Ben Wollaston, interestingly, the only player on the circuit, the only player who's earned money out of every ranking tournament this season. It means he's won his first match at least. Out of all the ranking events he's played in, 13 and counting. So that's... Uh, a unique record to hold. Shows he's been consistent this season. Well, it looks like all these reds are covering one another. 
helpful. The look on his face certainly suggests that. And that camera angle seems to confirm it. Well, he's got the cover for the red to the left corner. And now that's Trump's problem to cover that red. great shot that is you know as I say he had to cover that red to the left corner not only has he done that he's got the white on the back cushion Trump waiting to pounce if Wollaston slips up here Can he get through to the red closest to the pocket? If he can, then it's a chance to get going. Looks like he can. He piled the pressure on with the safety shot he played, which was a really good one. one. <coughs> but, well, is he on the black? If he's on the black, no problem. <coughs> Going to tie the black up in potting it, but... Well, he is on it, but at least he gets a chance to continue the break. played a clever shot, he's played to move the red off the black spot and that therefore frees the black so thought about that played the shot well and now Judd Trump in nicely in frame two, remember he made a century a 1-2-5 to win the first Meanwhile, it's 2-0 Martin Gould against Michael White on the other table. Eleven. Well, this is a great chance for Trump, bearing in mind what we've seen from him in the opening frame and what we know he's capable of doing. 
looking good for 2 0, even though he's uh, in the very early stages here. It's just about keeping things simple and focusing, concentrating, not making unforced errors. And you'd fancy him here to win the frame. Well, that's a lovely kiss. He's back in business now. He's been travelling down for bulk colours, but now he's uh, back where he wants to be. So he played a good safety to force the opening from Ben Wollaston. He's up to the half century already here and no reason why he shouldn't now win the frame. Red colour red should do it. When he got in with that initial red, it looked like a, a great chance, and he's taken it well. This is frame ball coming up, this red, for a 2-0 lead. Well, if he takes the blue, he can make another century. But it stayed out. So, not a century, but a good 68. And Judd Trump emphatically 
opens a 2-0 lead here and he's looking very good so far this evening remember he's got another match to play after this one against Graham Dot and Judd Trump at the moment looking really good Rob Spencer setting the balls up for frame three. Wollaston yet to really get that much of a look in. He's had been in a couple of times, but not a lot's been happening for him. He's lost position. And then a couple of good Trump safeties have undone him and forced openings, and Trump has made breaks of 125 and 68. So Trump looking to wrap things up here in frame three. He leads 2-0 and he's played really well so far tonight. Wollaston had a real good go at that, but he's missed it and sits down a little concerned, having left a chance. He's already seen how well Trump's playing this evening, so we'll see what he makes from this Whoa. chance. The red is crunched into the pocket. And he's off and running again. Six. Seven. Wow. That just came out of nowhere. It can only be a slight lapse in concentration. No reason to miss that other than that, but it's, uh, as I say, a big surprise that he did. Well, it's down to Ben Wollaston now to try and do something here. Settle himself in. It's not been a happy day for him. He's won one frame so far. Eight. Well, he's just stuck on the pack, which is not much use to him. 16. It's been his problem today. He's been getting in in matches and frames, but not making breaks. Oh, 
Michael White, meanwhile, has pulled one back against Martin Gould. Two on to Gould. Remember, both White and Wollaston coming into this uh, evening session had not won a match yet. Played two, lost two. Ron Wollaston, 16. They actually play each other first thing in the morning. That could be a very important match for both. Well, he's opened the reds, but he's left a thin cut to the middle. Got to take this chance, you feel. Got to keep Trump in that seat. Because the way the balls are lying, if he misses, if he breaks down, Trump would have his chance to win the match. Twenty. Well, he's played the cannon into the three reds and the pink, but doesn't seem to have landed on anything. 27. You see, nothing goes there. So, 27, the break, 31, the lead, but looks like end of break. Twenty-seven. 
Most red's gone towards the pocket, but it's uh, a little away from it. Yeah, it wasn't one by any means a straightforward pot that. Worse still, Trump has knocked in a really good red. So, Judd Trump, 30 behind, but with a chance here. He missed a red to this pocket, easier than this black earlier. Just seemed to take his eye off it. That black, as I say, was not as easy. And now that he's missed it, he's gifted Wollaston a chance to win his first frame. Batteries might have gone in uh, Rob Spencer, the referee's uh, zapper there. He's operating the arena scoreboard. Well, something, something's gone wrong with it. Well, I think he's fixed it. So, Williston 44 in front. Needs one more red here. Trump missed that tricky black to this left corner. Yeah, So Wollaston doubles his tally for the day, second frame that he's won. <coughs> Will it herald a full-scale comeback? Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. I think the, there's a problem with that zapper. It's not working, so the scores aren't going up. But anyway, he's won the frame. Forty-five. Forty-seven. Nice little break this from Wollaston, that's what he needed really. 59. Just get a bit of table time if nothing else. Make a nice break. 
So 72 clearance from Ben Wollaston. And he now trails 2 1. The referee's going to change that zapper. So there'll be just a short delay before frame four. Yeah, it could have been 3 0, but uh, Wollaston got another chance and was able to kill it off. So you can stay here or you can go in there, it's up to you. Well, there's going to be a five minute break, the referee's saying, because there's a problem with the equipment. Given the option of staying or going, and they're going to go back to the players' room. So it's going to be a five minute break before the match resumes. We will, uh, I guess, return when they return.
So after that unscheduled interval, we're uh, ready to resume. Apparently, what it is is a there's a concert on, and a band, the band needed to tune up, and it was so loud that uh, the play stopped. I've never heard of, heard of such a thing before in this game, but I suppose you watch enough snooker, you'll see everything eventually. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so we're ready to start frame four. It's two one to Judd Trump. Ben Wollaston made a good 72 break to win the third. Oh, more than six. Yeah. It's going back. Judge Trump catching the pink miss called by the referee, Rob Spencer. Just looking to nestle into that pack. Well, the Willis to be tempted with this red to the left middle. It's not a gimme by any means. <coughs> but it's a chance to get in. Got to play it, really. 
danger, of course, is what happens if he misses it. Oh, it, it thought twice, but it went in. The only problem there is that pink and black are sort of tying each other up. So he's going to have to rely on the blue for now. Vicious miscue. Ben Wollaston 12. Horrible for Ben Wollaston. <coughs> Let's hope his tip's all right. <coughs> so Judd Trump then has his chance. Same issue really with colours tied up, but we know how quickly you can develop a game, Judd Trump. And if he can pop this red, he frees the black. The referee's got to be on the ball here because it's pretty tight between red and black here. Seven. <coughs> well, that certainly helps. Pink's available now. This is a chance for Trump to win the match. Just see his snooker brain, his mind ticking over, formulating a plan. Twenty four. A route to victory. And it's all come from that horrible miscue by Ben Williston when he was in. It's 
It's one thing as well about Trump, he concentrates really well. You can just see him really focusing. The odd ball, you, you'll see him take his eye off, but that's inevitable. But in general, a bit like Mark Selby, he's really good at just really focusing on what's happening on the table. 33. Looking at potential trouble spots and things that can go wrong and, as I say, plotting a path to winning frames and matches. Thirty three in front, the break goes to fifty one. So he's about three reds away here from clinching his second victory from three matches today. It would be a big surprise if Judd Trump didn't qualify for the semi-final tomorrow night. He's such a, a deadly player in this format. And I think, too, it would be a big surprise if he didn't end up in the winner's group. Obviously, he's only got two chances now, Group 6 and then in a couple of months' time when we reconvene here in Coventry, Group 7, but you'd fancy him to win uh, possibly one of them. Six. Looks like he's won this match now. He needs this black and one more red to do so. And Ben Wollaston, uh, well, he look back on that miscue. It's not been his day, Wollaston. Played three, lost three. He's really struggling now to stay in the competition. He's not out yet, but he needs points on the board tomorrow, to say the least. 67. 68. Well, the red thought twice, but it went in. And that's the winning ball for Trump. Can he now end with his second century? 74. 81. He's played really, really well tonight, Judd Trump, and of course he stays on to play Graham Dot in the last match of the day. Dot's uh, started really well though in the Championship League Group 6, he's won 2 out of 2 so far. Sorry, he's won 2 out of 3 I should say, lost to Lee Hang earlier. So they're on the same record actually, played 3-1-2. It's going to be a second century for Trump. This is a classy finish. Ben Wollaston with the miscue. Judd Trump with the winning break. Wollaston did make that nice 72 clearance in the third frame. But Trump has had breaks of 125, 68 and that 109. He beats Ben Wollaston by 